mathematical immersion. So this is something that I think is really useful to do sometimes. Many of you have probably already done this, and if you're watching this video, maybe you feel like you've already done it. But do it more. If you're trying to like learn a new language, they say, like say you're trying to learn Chinese, they say the best way to do that is to go to China and just like move to China <laughs> and like live among the Chinese people and then just live your life there. Go to the store, buy stuff, you know, you know, have interactions with people in Chinese when you don't speak Chinese. Full immersion. That's how you can learn math. As a concrete example, uh, when I learned English, English is not my first language. It's not. Uh, when I came to this country, I did not speak any English. How did I learn English? I, I went to a school, and the school did not have any type of like bilingual program, and I was just fully immersed. I was just thrown in there. I remember following my teacher around, not knowing what was going on, and thinking like, I don't know what's going on. I'm just following this person because this person is in charge, but I don't know what's going on here. I remember not understanding anything. But how did I learn English? Full immersion. And a lot of video games. Video games taught me how to read and write. I mean, ah, it's great. So how do you immerse yourself mathematically? Well, if you're taking a math class, you know, keep studying, keep doing your homework, you know, work hard, maybe work a little bit harder. But do some stuff outside of that. Right? So if you're taking like calculus or college algebra, do some, do some abstract algebra. Or, or if you're taking abstract algebra and complex analysis, do, do some topology. Right? Pick up a book. Look at all these books I have. Pick up a book for like $5 and, and just read it. Take an hour a day and say, hey, I'm going to read this book and I am going to learn some math. And even if you don't understand it, you will get so much from that. I was reading, I was reading a topology book uh, by this... Uh, this German guy, Wolf, Wolfgang Franz, and I sat there and I read it. I read the book. I thought, oh, oh, this is really good. This presentation is interesting. And I learned so much from that, from that one hour of reading, because it was a book from, from the 40s, you know? So it was a book written a long time ago. So it gave me a different perspective on something that, that I already knew. And I felt like I got a lot from that. So immersion. So in order to immerse yourself in mathematics, Take what you're doing now and add to it, but make sure that when you add to it, that it's something that you want to add. So if you don't want to learn graph theory, you know, <laughs> don't learn graph theory. Pick a subject that you think is interesting and try to learn it. And when, when you don't understand it, realize that it's okay. Because a lot of times what happens is when people try this, this full immersion technique of, of mathematics, is that they try to tackle a new subject and they realize that, hey, this is, this is too much for me. I don't, I don't understand what's going on. It's just, it's too much. It's okay. It's, it's okay not to understand, right? You're not gonna be tested on this stuff. You're doing it for self-fulfillment. You're doing it to immerse yourself and to bring your mathematical ability to the next level. That's why I read books. That's why I read all of these books, full immersion.